everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. Now, we got a special treat this morning from Amazon Prime. They dropped a five second teaser of Daniel Haney's character, Lan. Now, it being Wednesday, it was a true Wheel of Time Wednesday, and it did shock me as well as a lot of other people in the fandom because a few weeks ago, the Twitter account basically tweeted that we wouldn't see much of anything for the next few weeks, so we weren't expecting any content or anything from them at all. So this teaser was, you know, it was pretty cool, and what we're going to do today is I'm going to go through the teaser itself, we'll talk about it, talk about the costumes, talk about the setting, what I think is happening, and I'm going to show it to you as well. Now before we get into the video, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. I usually put out one to two videos per week and they're all wheel of time on Prime Centric. So it's news, rumors, set pictures, leaks, castings, all of that stuff. And sometimes they get a few exclusives as well, which is really very neat. Now, before we get started, spoiler warning. If you have not read at least the very first book of Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time, that's The Eye of the World, up to Chapter 10, Leave Taking, be forewarned, I may ruin some minor character points or plot points for you. All right, with that being said, let's get on to the video. All right, so notice there's a little bit of a venue change today, and um, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you like it? Do you, do you like my old uh, background better, or do you like this? All right, so what do we have here behind us? We have my Juniper book set back here. Uh, we have a gift from one of the cast members over here. And over here, we have a map made for me by Randall Land Lists. Now, if you don't know who they are, they make custom Wheel of Time art. And uh, the link to their Instagram is down below in the description box. If you want to go click there, follow them, and definitely talk to them about what they're doing. They do take commissions, and the stuff is fantastic. Now, this happens to be a map, and it is absolutely, it blew me away when I opened it up. All right, so go check them out. All right, so now we're gonna dive into what we're talking about today. I'll show you the teaser here in a little bit, um, but first we're gonna show you a few stills. We'll talk about what I think is happening there. Um, now this morning, I woke up like any other Wednesday, and like much of you, and we didn't think much was happening because the Twitter of Time, uh, well, the Twitter of Time has basically been told by the Wheel of Time account that we're not gonna expect much for the next few weeks. Uh, and that was just a mere two weeks ago, I believe. Uh, however, Daniel Henney posted this particular post on Instagram this morning, Happy Wheel of Time Wednesday with a couple of swords. So everybody immediately started geeking out and thinking, well, we're, we're definitely going to see at least something to do with Land today because it's his character, his sword. Some people thought maybe we'll see a sword, maybe we'll see him in costume, maybe we'll see something behind the scenes. Um, but we were pleasantly surprised when the teaser dropped this afternoon and we got to see Daniel Henney in full costume. Now this is our first real official look at Lan and it's glorious. So when we talk about the teaser here in a second, um, I, I I was at a loss for words. I watched it a whole bunch of times. It packed a whole lot more in that five seconds than the Moraine teaser did. Now the Moraine teaser was pretty neat in its own right, um, but it kind of missed the mark with a lot of the fans and a lot of people who were not Wheel of Time fans because it didn't really explain or show a whole lot. Uh, but this one, you see him fighting, you see the violence, you see all the cool stuff, and it is really, really very neat. Um, I thought it was really, really cool. So we get to see him here with his Hidori on and there's fire in the background. So where can this be from? Well, my, my initial thought is that we're probably seeing him fighting in the big battle on Winter Night um, when he's fighting Trollocs in M1's field. Now, again, I gave you a spoiler warning up to chapter 10, this leave taking of the Eye of the World. So I'm not really spoiling anything when I say this, but Maureen Land come to Emmons Field. And I think a lot of the promotional material we're going to see is probably going to be from the first episode. Uh, we're not going to see much more beyond that because they don't want to tip their hat too much or give too much away. Um, but really, really very cool. As we go through these, uh, you can see the flames in the background there. And you can see that sheer concentration on his face. Daniel Henney did a very very good job of portraying this character, at least in the short clip uh, that we've seen. Um, and he seems to have had a lot of fun with it. In all his interviews, he said it was one of the most difficult things he did and Lan embodies a lot of his own personal traits. So it made it a little bit easier for him to actually play the character. But man, like, just look at that. That's the, he's just there. His presence on screen, just even in this five seconds was absolutely glorious. So we're gonna talk about the teaser here in a second, but I'm gonna show it to you first. It's, it's only quick, it's five seconds, so don't blink, you might miss some of it. And then afterwards, we'll discuss what I think is happening uh, during this teaser. You think you know this world? You know nothing. Really, really very cool. All right, so it opens up with Lan saying, in, in an overdub, of course, you think you know this world, you know nothing. Now, his accent seems to be just slightly, slightly British, just a little bit there. Um, and I, I think that's so far as we've seen a theme throughout most of the show that 
all the accents we heard were either a little bit from the UK or slightly British, just a bit. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know languages a whole lot or, or accents really well, but that's what I'm getting out of it anyway. Um, but again, that you know nothing, that's a big play. We're going to see that a whole lot. Uh, we're going to mean, they're going to mean that. That's going to be everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you know nothing, Jon Snow. You know nothing. Um, I think we're going to see that a whole lot over the next little bit all over Twitter and Instagram. In fact, I, I just checked Twitter a second ago and it is full of you know nothing means with land so there's that now after that it just goes from the close-ups in his face he kind of spins he pulls his sword and he's attacking something now we see in the background this fire and, you know here he is spinning here taking a, taking a shot at whatever he's attacking with some shadows in the foreground now that fire in the background of those buildings sort of seem to match up with what we've seen from set pictures of Emmons Field um, and Beltine so my guess is is that we're probably seeing a lot of stuff from the first episode here. Uh, this is probably, I'm going to guess, five seconds of the fight scene from the first episode. Moraine is probably also from the first episode. I don't think we're going to get a whole lot of reveals from episodes beyond the first one, at least for the first bit, mainly because they're going to want to save that and surprise us as they, they come out. Maybe we'll see some things in a trailer, but again, I think we'll probably see a lot of stuff from the first episode, even in the trailer. Now he's obviously fighting something off screen here. We don't see it. And I think that is completely on purpose. They cut this this way because what else does Lan fight in the first book other than Trollocs and White Cloaks? So he's fighting one of the two here. And from the way he's attacking and the way he's slashing, I'm going to assume he's not fighting someone with finesse. He's not fighting another Blade Master. He's probably fighting one of those big bestial figures of the Trollocs. And the fire in the background is probably most of Emmon's field on fire uh, during the, the attack on Winter Night. And uh, it's when him and Moraine really rally together in the town. And, and they kind of, I wouldn't say they saved the town folk. The town folk fought back quite well themselves, but uh, they put the spine into them, um, as, as we see in the, in the chapters up to leave taking. Um, I think that what he's probably doing here is he's probably attacking a Trolloc. And you can see him sort of slashing and stabbing here. And you see, again, there is that shadow in the front there. We don't really get to see what it is. Um, it's almost as if they either edited it out or they're blurring it intentionally so we don't get to see what's there or perhaps it's just the way it was filmed and that is another one of the uh, Trollocs or, or whatever he's attacking in the foreground there um, but I really do like to see this action sequence you see him holding the sword up to the side there he's whipping it around plunging it into whatever's off screen and then you can see those shadows move in the foreground so whatever is there is sort of blocking us from seeing everything else um, but again, they're not going to reveal too much. It is just a five second teaser, but man, way better, a lot better than the Moraine teaser in my opinion. And I'm going to say a lot better than a lot of the other teasers they've done so far. All right. So let me know what you think in the comments down below of the teaser. How did you feel about, uh, seeing Lan explode into action just for a few seconds? Do you like it better than the other teasers we've gotten so far? I mean, we started out with some still images here and there from Rafe, uh, and then it moved on to a little bit more with the, the pseudo animated wine spring in, and then we got Tam's sword, uh, Tom's guitar, Matt's dagger, and Matt's dagger is where they really stepped it up and we saw the first real images from the show, the real first footage from the show. And then we got Moraine where we saw again more footage from the show, but just a mere peek at her face, maybe her channeling the one power. And then we got Lands, the first real small, and it, albeit it's very small, action sequence we've gotten out of Amazon Prime. Do you think that as we get closer to the trailer and closer to the release of the show, they may start to step it up and do a little bit more here and there while we see other characters? Do you think, well, maybe we'll see them interact? I mean, Rand and Egwene on screen together would be absolutely fantastic in my mind. I'd like to see that. I'd love to see Tom string up his guitar, sit down, and play even 15 seconds of a song would be absolutely mind-blowing to me. Um, or Maureen and Land together, you know, just, just walking their horses. I think that would be really cool too. Do you think we'll get to see some of those things before the trailer? Now, again, the trailer, uh, according to my sources, is probably late May, early June, um, although that is all fluid. Nothing set in stone. It depends on how the shooting is going right now, how filming goes, how they set up for season two. They want to set the marketing plan up so it all flows seamlessly to the release date. They don't have to bump everything back, maybe release a trailer now, find out they have to bump back the release date six or seven months uh, due to another stop of filming or unforeseen circumstances. So I completely understand why they haven't really given us a whole lot of information on that front, but things seem to be going smoothly. The cast is in Prague. They are filming in the studio and on location. So I'm hoping, just hoping that we do get to see that trailer soon. 
All right. Thank you so much for sticking with me here to the very end. And here's to many more. <laughs>